What's up, Fishing Millionaires? Billy Wilson here, and I think I've got an exciting video for you guys today. I'm gonna cover all of the marketing clients I've ever had and how I lost them. So hopefully, you guys can learn from my mistakes, hear some of the funny stories and the ways that I've lost my clients. Thought it was a good idea, and hopefully you guys enjoy as well. So let's jump right into it. So first off, here is the full list of every single client that I've had, and these are only paid, and these are the ones that I'm gonna cover for you why I have lost them or why I still have them, which the ones in green are the ones that I have currently right this second. And I just closed one more that's not on this list. But then also I've got the full list of all the clients that I've done proposals for or done trials for and done meetings for that didn't close. I'm not gonna cover every single one of these ones, but I'm gonna cover quickly, first off, every client that I've had and pretty much how I lost each one of these. Um, so the first one here, laser tag, and these are kind of in somewhat chrono chronological order, but they're not perfectly chron chronological. But the first client I've ever had was my laser tag client. And then we, they paid me $500 per month to do social media marketing for them. This was probably like two years ago, um, right, after, right before I uh, quit my nine to five job. And I just did regular social media marketing posting for them. I did posts on their Facebook page and Instagram, and I ran like an ad or two. That the one ad that I did run actually performed really well. And the reason I lost that client was just because they weren't getting the results. And that's something that I obviously learned from is that social media marketing doesn't get the greatest like monetary value. And so that's one of the first learning blocks that I figured out. Like, oh, the Facebook ads are working way better than the actual posting on the social media. So from there and a couple clients after, that's when I started to focus more on the Facebook ad side only compared to posting for them as well. So then the second client I had was a coffee shop and that was just a $500. I was hoping it would turn into a $500 per month deal, but they only ended up paying me one time just because they, even though I got them amazing results and maybe I'll even, I mean, I've shown the ad on one of my YouTube videos before, I think and I actually doubled their sales within a week of working with them, but it was just too low ticket of a client with the client value being too low of each of their individual clients. They just weren't able to afford my services continuing on, even though they did get amazing results working with me. Then the third client, this is a little bit of a funny, uh, well, interesting story. Um, the real estate agent client, um, it was supposed to be a $1,500 per month client. That's what the plan was. But um, I ended up actually getting paid $750 um, one time. We worked together for about two weeks and we got some great results. We got quite a few leads for seller leads and um, things were going good. Now, one problem that I figured out later is that the real estate agent was just be, uh, starting out. So that was one issue that I faced. So I wouldn't really recommend you guys if you're working in the real estate niche, um, don't really uh, work with agents that are just getting started. You want somebody that has experience, that already has experience selling homes and is able to close new leads that come in. Because if you work with somebody that's a beginner, they're not gonna be able to know how to really do a good job of closing the leads already. And plus on top of that, they might not have the money to invest into marketing. Um, so that was one thing that I learned there. But the um, reason that the client actually decided to leave me is because I um, cursed in some of my earlier YouTube videos. So that is an interesting story that, um, I mean, that's pretty much the simplicity of it, but when I talked to her, the reason that she said she wanted to cancel is because uh, she explained it in a way that, like I respect Gary Vee and everything, but it's just not the type of person that I wanna work with. And I was really confused what she meant by that, but then eventually I figured out like, oh, Gary Vee curses in his videos. Um, which my videos had a pretty vulgar intro. I don't know why. I, I honestly was just testing some things out and um, it was maybe a little bit dumb of me, but you can watch one of my older videos and you maybe will understand uh, that reason. So then the fourth client was a used car dealership and they paid me 1500 per month and we worked together for like three, four months and um, we got them like decent results. They got like a sale or two, a uh, car sale or two from us. However, I just think that my experience wasn't great enough yet, but then at the same time, towards the very end, we were getting them amazing results as far as the leads. And this is something that I learned about my agency is, one of the biggest problems that, I had this for so many clients, and you'll notice I had some of this for some of my other clients too. One of the biggest problems I had with my agency was I didn't realize the businesses wouldn't close the leads. Many businesses that I worked with, and the reason I don't have some of these clients is because I, they didn't know how to close the leads that I was bringing them because they weren't used to getting leads like that. And I never really taught them how to close the leads or 
Um, I didn't make sure that they call the leads within five minutes and like record their phone calls to like see what they're saying on the calls and see what the clients are saying on the calls and see if they're actually doing a good job closing the leads. Because I didn't set those expectations and they just expected me to come into their business and pretty much wave a magic wand and their business becomes amazing, that was a huge mistake that I made. So even though I was bringing some amazing results to some of these clients, they weren't closing the leads because they didn't really know how to or they didn't... um, because I didn't really set that expectation that this is like a team effort. It's not just me coming in, I'm gonna bring you magically all these customers. It's kind of a team effort where you, the client has to do the closing of the leads, has to call them within a really reasonable time frame, then leave a good voicemail, do a good a job on the phone call to make sure they actually come in and figuring out their objections and just having someone that does a good job on the phone. So that was a mistake that I made with them, even though towards the end I did get some great results with them. And so the next one was an e-commerce store. And that one, the problem I was, once again, I I did my very best, uh, like on all my clients, I always did my very best work and I always put in my 100% effort to get them the best results I possibly can. There's no doubt in that. And I had that e-commerce store client for a couple months. So I think they ended up paying me like two or three grand. And for that one, my problem was they were just a startup. So they didn't have proven sales already. So even though I was going really hard, their product, I just don't think the, the market liked the product good enough in order for it to sell no matter how good the ads were so um, towards the very end I actually feel like I did get the ads to work at least somewhat profitably but at that point they felt like it was too late and they kind of um, went with a different marketing agency but the marketing agency after me actually did worse so um, it's whatever so then and the marketing agency that went after me was also more expensive too and they did worse um, then the five personal trainers, I had about five personal trainers. These were those just like $100 each things. The thing about personal trainers is they um, don't stay for long, even though you get them great results really quickly because once they get the, their maxed out of clients, they can't really take on any more clients because they get their time booked up and you can't really work with them any longer. So that's the problem with working with personal trainers. Then the gym, some of you guys, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you've probably seen the gym before. Um, And maybe I'll show you guys some of these ads here to show. I know it's probably video might be mostly focusing on my voice because I don't have the images here, but I will maybe mix in some images here. This is like the gym client and you can see some of the results here. The first eight months of working with them cost about 22,000 in marketing ad spend in our costs and gained them about 175. And we've taken this gym from 56 to Today, like over 420 members, and in their first nine months, they went from zero to 56, and then in eight months, we brought them in the first eight months from 56 to over 300. So um, this client is really thankful, and it's always been a great client to work with, and this is the longest client I've had. We've been working together for like a year and a half now. And that client page uh, has paid anywhere from 15 to 2,500 per month just for management. And by the way, guys, none of these include ad spend. These are all management um, monthly costs. Ad spend is separate from these. And then uh, another client I had was yoga. And the reason I lost that client was once again, we brought them some killer, mate, like absolutely the best results possible with that client. I'll just maybe show the ad here. Um, over 100 leads in one month at $3 a piece. Um, eight closed the leads. Now that was when they actually come in and they cl- came, took the offer. And in each one of their clients is worth about $2,000 over the course of one year. Um, assuming that they refer one person, their actual value is about $1,000, but on average they refer for one other person. So that's what makes it 2000. And then um, you can see like the real results here. Now my problem once again was I didn't set the expectations enough that or and teach the person that was handling the leads like how important it is and what you exactly have to do in order to close the leads. I, If I would have known better, I would have set a lot better expectations that like every need, lead needs to be called within five minutes. There needs to be like a sales script given. Um, there needs to be like a sales process that they go through. And if they don't pick up the phone, they need to be left like a voice a mail and then sent a text message and maybe called up the next day as well and like have a good follow-up process in place and ha- ha- doing a good job on the phone to actually convince them to make sure they show up to the appointment, collect a credit card to set their appointment and everything like that. And just making sure you have a process in place that the clients can actually close the leads is an important thing because a lot of clients aren't naturally good at closing leads. They, um, they're just not, some clients just aren't really used to that kind of thing. So you have to coach them a little bit, help them out. And so that's what I would improve there. That client worked together for quite a few months 
um, I think like four or five months about. And um, then next we have a bakery and that was supposed to be $750 per month, but um, it ended up only being 250 one time because even though we got some killer results for them as well, kind of like the coffee shop, we did the same strategy there. Um, they got amazing uh, reach, but we only worked together for like a week because they um, they just decided to go another route with their marketing, which is totally fine, and it just wasn't a good fit for that one. And then next, I have an e-com influencer, and he paid me anywhere from seven fifty to three thousand per month. Let me show you some of the results there. So for he had an online program, has some Shopify stores, but we mainly focused on the online, uh, the advertising for the online program. We did Facebook and YouTube ads, mostly retargeting ads. So this is from a warm traffic ad. Um, got thirty-one five hundred dollars sales, and so that's fifteen thousand dollars in profit in one month. And it costed us an advertising seven dollars and fourteen cents per sale. So seven hundred fourteen seven dollars fourteen cents to make a five hundred dollars sale. Uh, 31 times it's kind of crazy results there but um, the reason that we stopped working together honestly I don't know that one because our results were great um, so honestly I don't know the reason but um, yeah sorry I <laughs> guess I don't know the reason for that one to be completely honest with you guys um, seed company this is so basically they sell seeds to farmers uh, soybean and corn seeds and we just did so they only have like a seasonal thing. So they only have like a certain, like a couple months where they actually sell their product. So the first year we worked together was 1500 one time and $3,000 $3, one time the second time we worked together. And both of those were only meant to be for one month. The first, um, but I extended them a little bit extra just to get them some better results too. And I, in the last, time yeah so as far as that goes that was kind of a mixture between we didn't get the most amazing results because it was a really 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 difficult niche to work with um like think about trying to convince a farmer to meet with a salesperson to um choose which seed they're gonna have that's definitely a very difficult to niche uh the first year we did get them a great return the second year i'm not sure exactly what return we get uh what return we got but we did get quite a few leads although the cost per lead was quite expensive but at the same time their clients were expensive too but um that client went like decent i would say they got some pretty decent results but not the amazing most amazing so that's probably why they um didn't pay more and my mistake was there's honestly like i said with all these clients i go with my max effort so i put my max effort into every single client and same thing with them as well. I did so many, a ridiculous amount of split tests with different offers and everything like that. But it definitely was a really difficult client. And we got, like I said, decent results, but not the best. So that's what makes it difficult. When you got like reasonable results, it's hard for them to justify paying so much per month. You know what I mean? So um, restaurant, and that was $500 for consulting one time. That wasn't a client I lost. So that's just a one-time consulting thing. And then laundry delivery service, that was $500 one time for Google AdWords. And by the way, guys, I don't really recommend necessarily doing all these different services. You've heard that I've done YouTube ads, Facebook ads, and now Google search ads as well. I just pretty much optimized their account. Um, and that was just a one time. And I actually ran a trial for them as well, which I didn't. And I ran the trial because I wanted to test out messenger bots, honestly. And like I said, doing too many different things once again. I don't recommend doing all those different things. But um, I tried a messenger bot and it didn't get them the greatest results because like I said, I was testing it out and it did get them some great engagement. But because of that one experience they had with that it didn't work for one week, they were never open to actually working with me for a long term just because I guess they were worried even though I had all these other good client results. And so um, the 10 real estates thing is I have a like a program that, um, so I had a program that I started selling at 375 and every like couple people that joined, I would raise the price a couple hundred dollars um, because it was a basically an advertising guide for real estate. Um, so either people that are marketing for real estate or real estate agents. So about 10 real estate agents bought that program and it was just a program with some directions on how to run Facebook ads. And then also, some real ads that I actually proven for that real estate client earlier. By the way, I had run real estate ads for like two other trials as well, which you'll see on the next page. So, and those all generated, like I've been able to generate the leads for the real estate agents. However, um, 
the real estate agents that I worked with weren't able to close the leads because both of them or both of them were all just complete beginner real estate agents and didn't exactly know how to close uh, leads coming in from Facebook. Um, but the real estate agents that actually did use those ads had some great results and um, that's been really fun to work with them is, and see those as well. And so um, so that pretty much that program comes with like seven proven real estate ads or something like that that have all been proven to generate leads that can convert. And then next there is a financial advising company and I've been working with them for quite a while as well and there are $5,000 per month just simply because the reason it's so high is just because the return that we bring is super high as well. So before they started working with us, they were spending 15,000 pound per month. That's British pounds, which is about $20,000 per month in ad spend, which is ridiculous. And we brought that ad spend down to um, 4,000 pound per month. So about like a little bit less than one third. Um, so we instantly saved them like 10,000 pound per month, which is like, uh, like 13,000 US dollars or something like that. So we instantly saved them like 13,000 US dollars just from reducing the ad spend. And we were able to bring them more leads for the same, um, increase the number of leads too. So they were already running Facebook ads. We just took their ads to the next level and maybe I have a res the results here actually. And so, um, so they were paying 27 pound per lead and re reduced their, pound, their uh, cost per lead down to three dollars, so we reduced it by like nine, um, one ninth, and we brought so many appointments. We had to reduce the ad spend by one fifth. So you can see the actual email there that they say they need. They seem to have loads of leads, and it's causing an issue with contacting them all. So you can see that there. And then a landscaping company, that one, it was kind of a mixture of the problems that I had before. Once again, not educating the client good enough on how to close the leads, but then also not getting uh, for that one specifically, this has been pretty rare for me, but I actually didn't really get them the greatest results, even though once again, I put in my maximum effort and I did so many different split tests with different offers and different things like that. But for some reason, I just couldn't crack the code with that landscaping client as far as getting them leads. And I, by the way, guys, whenever it happens that I don't get the clients, the results that I want, um, if you're wondering what I do, so if they paid me $1,500 for one month. What I ended up doing is I gave them, after after the first month, I didn't get the results that I wanted, so I gave them an extra two weeks for free, and then another extra two weeks after that, so they pretty much got a whole second month for free for us to just do testing, and we tried really, really hard to get that client results, but it was a mixture of um, us not finding the right offer, and then the client was also not really getting us creatives on time, like we wanted a bunch of videos and some new content, and that we asked before we even started working together, but then they never actually got us that content. So that was another reason that was preventing us from being able to succeed with that client. So it just didn't end up being a good um, team relationship and that's what made that one not work out. And so a mistake that you can potentially avoid there is avoid working with tons of different niches like I've done. And obviously I only learned that after I've already made the mistake. So I'm kind of already there now with the clients that I have. But um, it really is better to stick to one niche because then you don't even face the problem of, except for your very first client or your second client, you don't really ever face the problem again of having to find results of the best offer for that niche because then you already have the proven process how to do it. So then next I had a counseling client and they were $2,000 per month and still working with them as well. And um, results have been great there. Um, overall so I can't really say much about that our campaign has been really good and they've been an amazing client to work with they're just a good client they've gotten me the videos on time they made some amazing video content that I could use in the ads which we work together as far as creating those videos and a script for those videos so it's really a team effort and that's the best client I think I've had as far as like a team effort goes we've both done a great job working together and when you have a team effort going on with your client and yourself and them just not expecting you to do all the work, that's usually the best situation. Then a chiropractic consulting client, that was for four hours. I charge $500 per hour for consulting. And so we did work together for four hours and we have some results there as well. Boom, 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 right here. And um, so their product is $24,000, believe it or not. <laughs> um, they have like a two year, and it might, it might be 24,000 or it might be 36,000, I'm not sure but it's either 2,000 or 3,000 per month. And they work with chiropractors to help them grow their chiropractic business. 
And so we brought them $10 leads for a funnel that basically sets them up to get a certain book. And then in that, after that book, they get on a call with the person and everything like that to help them grow their chiropractic business and then decide if they want to work together or not. And so um, Wedding DJ Company, that was $3,000 one time consulting. And for that one, I just found, that was a client that I took on for um, the 30 day challenge that I had on my channel a little bit earlier. And I just decided to um, stop working with that client just because it was taking up a lot, a lot of my time. And I decided just really not to go that route. So even though um, they were a great client to work with, it was just becoming too much of a time investment for me to be worth the money. So I actually went ahead and gave them a refund for that. And then lastly, a solar company. And like I said, I'm starting working with a new client this week as well. That will be another um, gym for $2,000 a month. And um, solar company, um, they were running Facebook ads already, but they weren't the greatest, kind of similar to the financial advising company. And we have just taken their ads to the next level. And once again, we've pretty much reduced their cost per lead um, in half. So you can see this one here. Um, they were paying 44 Australian dollars per lead and now it says 23, but we have actually lowered it even that. So now it's down to 50% cost per lead. And we've also done that while scaling the campaigns up. We've still reduced the, kept the lead count in half. And so that is all the clients I've ever worked with and how I've lost all the ones that were paying me. And here is all the proposals and meetings that I've done that didn't close. And as you can see here, I have a lot of huge clients that I didn't, um, that I've had meetings with that I thought were going to close for sure. Like anything that I've listed here is clients over $2,000. You can see I did, um, so there's, there's a bunch of like $3,000 plus deals here. Um, this is a really large deal that I didn't get to close. Um, $4,000, like there's lots and lots of um, large deals that I actually had meetings with, made proposals for. And some of these I thought for sure were gonna close, but they didn't actually close. Some pretty high ticket clients. You can see here I did trials for different business types. Um, and the thing that I wanted to, the reason I have this on the screen here is just to show you guys like, <clears throat> even though this business model is amazing and it's ch completely changed my life, it's not something that was easy and I'm just setting your expectations real. Like this is how many clients, how many meetings I went through. There's been a lot more meetings than this. This is just, um, the ones that I have like actual proposals made for that I made like demos specifically for these businesses because I thought they were high potential to work with. So that's pretty much um, all of that. And as you can see, there's a lot of high ticket ones. So it could be, it definitely was devastating to miss out on some of these really big clients. But the thing is you just got to get back up and keep going. And that's what's allowed me to scale my agency to six figures is just after all of these failures, just getting back up every single time, just keep going at it, keep going at it, and keep going at it until I was actually able to achieve it. And so, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's anything else here, so there's a cryotherapy client that I did a trial for. This one didn't actually close because once again, they did a terrible job closing the leads. For this one, I was kind of working together with two or three people um, on this client and like 106 leads for $4.81 and each of their clients is worth about $1,000 for the long-term value, um, and they didn't close any. And actually, I think they might have closed one or two, but um, the partner that I was working with called up like three of the leads and booked two of them for in for appointments. So the client was just doing a terrible job of actually getting the people booked in for appointments and not even really putting any effort in at all. So that's a mistake you gotta watch out for. And then there's the um, counseling client, um, amazing ad copy and creative. And then for the solar company, yeah, you guys already saw that. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. That was all the marketing clients I've ever had and how I lost them. So if you have any questions about anything else as far as that goes, I'll try my best to respond to some of them. And also before I end this video, I wanted to ask you guys for thank you, to thank you guys for that stick to the end. I have a full list of YouTube video ideas here. So um, some of the next video ideas that I have up here are on the left side here. Maybe I can zoom this in a little bit. And so um, my next video idea, I was thinking about doing the new Facebook ad campaign budget because I've been using it on my clients and on my own business and having been having really good success with it. So I was thinking about sharing my um, strategy with the new Facebook campaign budget optimization. If you guys would be interested in that, let me know. Or if you think it's not the greatest video, be honest with me and let me know as well. I've got some other video ideas here. 
So if you see one of these video ideas that you feel like is a lot better than the others, let me know because I want to make whatever you guys are most interested in. So it says like how much I've spent on courses, what to expect with running a social media marketing agency, how setting up a legal business works for a social media marketing agency, business taxes, um, what it was like for me growing up. Um, most common people who don't get results for their clients. Interview with some of my students that have had success. How to set up the Facebook pixel in one minute. New video on how to create Facebook ads that work. Why you should not build multiple streams of income. Don't start a social media marketing agency till you watch this. Why I don't do any contracts. Why I don't do any proposals. And then all of the softwares that I use. And then of course here, if you pause the video and you see any other ones over here that you think will be really cool as well, you can let me know. Really appreciate you guys' help with that and hope you guys enjoy this video and we're able to get some value out of it. Sorry it was a little bit long, but once again, um, I figured it would maybe be a value video, valuable video for you guys. So even though it was like a 25 minutes long right now, hopefully if you were able to learn from my, some of my mistakes, it'll save you losing from losing a client or a couple thousand dollars. So once again, hope you enjoyed the video. Look forward to seeing you in the next one. And if you enjoyed the content and you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and I'll be posting video content just like this every single week. See you guys.